Welcome to the form creator in your DS control panel. Here you can create lead generation forms to place onto your website and have your leads be automatically added to your agent reach contacts. To create a new form, click on start form creation. Forms are how you can collect information and details from a visitor to your website. Each form consists of many fields that ask for specific pieces of information. Fields also can come in many types, such as text, checkbox, radio button, and drop-down. We allow you to collect three different types of details from your visitors via the fields in your form. Information fields are used to fill in the contact and personal information about your visitor, such as first name, last name, email, etc. Tag fields allow you to create multiple choice inputs, checkboxes, radio buttons, drop-downs, that depending on the visitor's choice will automatically tag that visitor with the tags that correspond to the choices they make. Pipeline fields allow you to create a multiple choice input that depending on the visitor's choice will feed that lead into a specific lead management distribution pipeline. You can see an example form here. On the right hand side of the page you will see some form details that must be filled in. First you're going to choose a title for your form. This is just your personal title for the form. Then you're going to choose a redirect URL. This is where once your contact submits their information, they will be taken to on your website. Most people use a thank you page saying something to the effect of, thank you for requesting more information, I'll be in contact with you shortly. Next you're going to choose a destination group for your form. The destination group is the group that your contacts will be automatically added to when they fill out the form. You can choose from the drop down of your existing groups or you can type in a new group name. We have already talked about the fact that you can add tag fields to your form. However, you can also add an auto tag to your entire form. This will tag anybody who fills out your form with a certain tag, either one of your existing tags or you can add a new one. To start adding fields to your form, enter the Add Information Fields section. Examples of information fields for a form are name, email, address, and other contact and personal information for your visitor. To add one, fill in the field title, what you are going to be asking for, then choose the information field that corresponds with the title of the field. Then choose what type of field it is going to be. Name, an email, and address are usually text box with optional questions being drop downs or radio buttons, and spaces for comments being text areas. Once you have completed the information for your information field, click Add Information Field to add it to your options. For our Comments field, we do not already have a section in our contacts for comments, so we will add it by typing in the box. The text area allows for a larger amount of text to be typed into your field. Here you can see both our first name field and our comments field that we've added. The next type of fields we can add are tag fields. Remember that a tag field will add tags based on what your visitor chooses. An example would be their estimated time to move. Once you have chosen your input type, drop down checkboxes or radio buttons, click on add new field. Now that we've added our field, we must add the options that they could choose from. Since we do not already have the tags existing that we'd like to add, we need to type them in. You can see here how your drop down menu would look. Another example of a tag field would be areas of interest, and we're going to put this one as a checkbox. Now we need to add our options. After you have added a few options, click Save and Update Generated HTML and see what your form's going to look like so far. The last field is pipeline fields. You can only add one pipeline field per form or else your contact may want to go through more than one pipeline at a time which will possibly distribute it to more than one agent. For our pipeline field we're going to choose buying or selling and give them a radio button option. 
Again, we must enter our options. Our first option is going to be buying. We are going to put it through our buyer's pipeline, which will distribute this contact to one of our multiple buying agents. Our second option will be selling, and it will go through our seller's pipeline, which will distribute any contacts that choose sellers to our seller's agents. Now we are going to change the order of the questions in our fields by choosing move up or move down. You could see now that our pipeline field is above our areas of interest field. Continue moving around your questions until you have them in the order that you would like. Click save and update generated HTML to view the sample of your form. Here you could see the HTML for our form and the example of how our form is going to look on our website. Once you have gotten your form to how you would like it, copy your HTML and either give it to your web developer or if you have a diverse solutions website, we will now show you how to enter it in. Click save and done to save your form. Once you have saved your form, you'll be taken back to the main forms page. Here you can edit or delete your forms that you've created. To add the form to your diverse solutions website, enter your agent cast website control panel, enter the content manager and click on the add new page button or you can edit an existing page to add your form to. If you are adding a new page, you will first need to enter the name for your page. We'll call our page test form page, then click OK. The first option you come to in creating a new page is template. Your template will be dis able to be displayed in many different ways. The option you're going to most likely want to choose for your form is left nav. The next section is layout. We recommend custom for your form. The content step is where you can actually add your form. You're not going to want to paste the HTML right on this page, but you're going to want to enter the HTML source editor and paste your code there. If you are editing a page that already has content information on it, we recommend entering in text that is recognizable in your HTML, finding that text and replacing it with your HTML code. Otherwise, paste in your code. Once you have entered your code, click Update. Here you will be able to see your form and make any edits to the text size and font. Click on the Form step to make sure that your form is not checked as active. The reason we do not want this form step checked as active is because your code already comes with the necessary information. Once you are done, click Done. Publish your page. View the form on your website. This is how your form will look on your website. Thank you for learning about our forms. If you have any further questions, please contact your account executive and remember to check out our other great tutorials.